I'm going to share an article that I saw about vegans and their bones and also this page which is about I mean I think it's the same um, story it's just like the science version from one of those websites where they post all that scientific stuff okay so vegans who lift weights may have stronger bones than other people on a plant-based diet people on a plant-based diet who do strength training as opposed to other forms of exercise such as biking or swimming may have stronger bones than other people on a vegan diet I think this is important for some vegans to know, especially there is a segment of vegans that they don't do any resistance or weight type of training. They are very proud of being very, very thin, which is associated long term with having weaker bones because your bones don't have to be strong anymore because you love being so thin. They eat a diet that is very deficient in fat, so their vitamin D and their vitamin K is not really, those are fat soluble vitamins. They probably have lower levels of all of that, right? And then on top of that, to make it even worse, to complete the recipe for osteoporosis they the, um, the types of exercises that they like to do include biking and they don't really lift anything they like to be very very skinny so they need to watch out for their bones long term okay about six percent of people in the united states are vegans i do not believe this i don't and okay the authors compared data from 43 men and women on a plant-based diet for at least five years and 45 men and women on an omnivore diet for at least five years. Omnivores eat meat as well as plant-based foods. Duh. The researchers found vegan participants who did resistance training exercises such as using machines, free weights, or body weight resistance exercises at least once a week had stronger bones than those who did not. They also found vegans and omnivores who engaged in resistance training had similar bone structure. People who adhere to a vegan lifestyle should perform resistance training on a regular basis to preserve bone strength and they list authors. So the title of the study, there's like many places posting basically the same story. The title is not surprising that vegans who lift weights will have stronger bones than vegans and plant-based people who don't because that's the same thing for omnivores, isn't it? The ones who lift weights um, at least in advanced age and stuff they have stronger bones so I went to the actual article and um because I was wondering like isn't that true for everybody like omnivores as well but what I thought was interesting was they wrote in the vegan group I don't know struck I don't know how to pronounce that first word tra trabecular and cortical structure was altered compared to omnivores I want to find the full paper. What does that mean? It was altered. Hmm. Vegans not reporting resistance training had diminished bone microarchitecture compared to omnivores not reporting resistance training. So that was one of the things that I was worrying about. Wondering about actually who has the weakest bones of all? You have vegans that don't exercise. You have omnivores that don't exercise as far as weight re resistance training and all that. You have vegans that do exercise with weight resistance training you have omnivores that do exercise with weight resistance training now it takes no genius to realize out of those four groups the vegans and the omnivores the ones that do and don't do resistance training who's going to have the weakest bones of all and the vegans well oh, i don't know it just depends they weren't doing it. no that clearly the answer is the vegans that don't exercise <laughs> are going to have the weakest bones of all right and that was all i really needed to see that's why i came to the paper really to see <laughs> if you're a vegan and you want to have any chance you ha it's like you have to exercise you have to do resistance training you have to you have to to not be the weakest of all because even the omnivores that don't exercise and don't do resistance training even they got stronger bones and the vegans that don't what does that mean to you vegans does it mean anything and vegans and omnivores reporting resistance training bone structure was similar in both vegan subgroups Resistance training and not resistance training, and a small number of correlations between nutrient intakes, bone microarchitecture. Bi <laughs> Why can't I pronounce these words? Bone microarchitecture were without conclusive patterns or were observed. Okay. So I think, I feel like the vegans would actually neglect to realize that the, the non exercising vegans are the weakest of all. I see so many vegans. I follow a lot of vegans on Instagram, and let me just tell you, a lot of them are not doing any exercise, they're not doing anything. They're not. 
And you might think, oh, they're active because they're traveling around, they're going to vegan restaurants and they're flying on planes. They're not doing weight resistance training. They're not doing anything, really, a lot of them. Some of them are, but generally I would say they're not. And some of them, if they are, they're like riding their bikes and stuff. Okay. And then when they say that the vegans and the omnivores that were doing exercise had similar bone structure, I wonder how long that's going to pan out. Because it said it followed them for five years. But what about after 15, 20, 30 years? Like, I would be concerned about elders as well because they're the ones whose bones we really need to be watching out for. I would like to see a similar study in elderly people, or at least like in their 50s and 60s, women especially, if they do weight resistance training as vegans, will they still have the same equivalent bone structure as you know omnivores especially if they've been vegan for a really long time like for decades and decades but bottom line is if you're a vegan you don't want to be the weakest of the weak you have to do this exercise because a vegan couch potato is going to be far more brittle than an omnivore couch potato but anyway that's all i wanted to say